previously on not coming not really my jam picnics but you have fun okay. spinning a new song anyway rather focus on that shit more mm. money more food for me mm. he's really humming over there i can't who thinks me and uncle river make a good couple oh wow oh 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 mm. well that's decided mm. got an 11.99 officer needs backup come on pull you out of this ambush <sighs> all right this is thanks for the food i had fun kids i'm going to go and reject them now all right so we are trying to find our way through the fence so let me just take a look here see if there's any openings and whatnot i bet something as simple as opening up this door hold on yep it is i knew yeah it. okay good Okay. On our way. Wow, the scenery Area's looks really nice bad, here. Actually. Unlikely to dazzle, make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Brandy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Hmm. That is... a pain in the ass, then, if that's the case. Wow, this scene is amazing. Middle of a desert, right next to a couple of canyons. Right next to the city, too. It's very... conveniently beautiful. All right, let me just climb up this ladder here. Damn, if only I can climb that fast. Ugh. Oh, God, V. Really? Okay, okay. Breathe in, breathe out. Please. Is this what it feels like to be dying? Just a constant reminder of... Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. I wish I could say the same about my stay in- Oh my god! Okay. I'm gonna try not to fall. Where am I supposed to sit? Oh, lord. Yeah. I like where we are now. Right here. Outside looking in. Away from all the urban chaos. Like Waterbury. Reminds me a bit of home. Got something for you. Oh no, you shouldn't have. Oh! Your peace? Matter a long time. Too long. I think it's time she found a new owner. Don't know what to say. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which well, made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Alright, V. You know why we're here, don't what? you? Damn, that quick? Say you do. What? Please, don't string me along. That the pickup line you settled on? Because... Maybe heard three in my life that were worse. And just a little, I thought. Wouldn't mind hearing them. Yeah. Happy to oblige. Ew, you swallow beautifully? That's nasty as fuck. You got two wishes left? I'll fuck you for free. What type of pickup lines are these? So I'm at a bar, and this gonk taps me on the shoulder and says, Here I am, baby. You got two wishes left. What'd you say? Spoke my second wish. That he would fuck off. 
Was there a third? Mm-hmm. Wished him a speedy recovery. Broken arm. Merciful, I'd say. I'll fuck you for free. <laughs> what? Got a contract. To pull info out of a gigolo in a tech mink fedora. It was weird. He was... spilling. And then... He pulled that one out of his hat. A candid and generous proposal, V. You should have at least considered it. I don't fuck random people, but okay. Will you swallow? Beautiful. <laughs> you serious? This guy and I, sitting in a diner. Five minutes, he gapes at me. Not a word. Then, drops that bomb. Oof. <laughs> okay, last one was good. You know... Woman once told me I have sexy calves. That's it? Just like her boyfriend's. Before he lost his legs in the war. Yikes. That's awkward. She was right, though. I do have great calves. Listen, River. You expect this to evolve somehow. Don't stand a chance, do I? No, you're not Judy or Pan. Maybe we keep it at friends? Yeah. Sure. Okay, cool. All right. We can still have a drink. Oh, okay. You see, this is what I like. River is the first man who can actually handle a rejection. You hear that? Guys who complain about being friends with benefits? Handle rejection gracefully and keep it stepping. Got some lemonade? Anything in that vein? Lemon? <laughs> well sure but seriously it was supposed to be a family dinner wasn't expecting hard lubrication didn't here's to joss and the kids yeah to family especially since you got your nephew back so Hell yeah, it's a family. Let's go. Sure you don't mind me drinking? Probably lots more. No, you kidding? Your spot, this. Your customs. You'll hang with me, though. I can be awfully charming when drunk. Hmm. We'll see. Just don't fall off this ledge. Man, I slept good then if I forgot where I was. Nice. That was a nice night, Whoa. not too awkward. Colonizing the moon, and there's still no cure for hangovers. Well, at least we had fun yesterday. Yeah. Um, but now I gotta roll. Promised Joss I'd take her to see Randy. No rush either. Get your sea legs back. Take as much time as you need. Ah, uh, apologize to Joss for me. We kind of dined and dashed yesterday. And left puke all over the bathroom? Ooh. Oh, shit. Shit. You sure you're good to drive? <sighs> Please. Former NCPD, <clears throat> I'm a pro on Hangover Highway. I'll be fine. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. This is nice. I got a good feast. Oh, it's Joss. Okay. Uh, you're just gonna walk on by, bro? Okay, that's cool. Is she seriously gonna walk on by? No hi, no bye? Good morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator? You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. Oh, that's cute. She's making sure everything's all nice and homey for so her generator. son. I don't know, but electricity's out. And then his room needs tidying. I'm supposed to do that? 
I know how it sounds, but this one time, please. Aw, you know, big brother duties, R River. This is so cute. I love this. Alright, let me see what I can do now. Let me just check my little quest log quickly. Actually, since I'm in the mood to, you know, help out Johnny, I'm going to call Rogue and ask her out. Let me just exit quickly. Oh, okay. I hate doing that. Let me just call Rogue, see what she says. V. Johnny wants to ask you out on a date. What do you think? Johnny's asking? Or is it you? Oh, Johnny. no. Johnny. You're the one who said you got no trouble telling us apart. Okay. And where'd we go? Where'd you want to go? Silver Pixel Cloud in North Oak. Okay. I'll swing by the afterlife. Pick you up. Yo, she thought I was asking her. Holy. Hold on. What's this? Forgot to tell you, swing by in the evening. Got other things on my plate right now. Okay, this evening then, afterlife, I'll be there. Till then. Alright, this should be interesting. So, let's... Let's go. Hey V. Hey, wanted to thank you again, you know, for helping me with clouds. Don't want to think about what could have happened if you hadn't been there. Anywho, I think I got something that might help us. Can't go into DT yet, but I'll holler at you in a couple days. Oh, and have a fabulous day. Winky face? Huh. Hold on. I'm not able to respond at all? No, I'm not able to respond. She sent me a winky face. Huh. What the hell is this? Oh my god, this game is broken. No matter how much patches CD Projekt Red does, this game is totally broken. Like, I can't even right now. Hey, did you hear about that psycho who kidnapped kids and kept them somewhere out in the Badlands? Christ, what a psycho. I wouldn't be surprised if he was a raffin. Yeah, a real ugly affair that managed to help solve it with a badge from NC. One of the kids was his nephew. Well, aren't you just full of surprises? I can imagine that must have been quite the ordeal. Hell, those boys in stalls like cattle. Glad you didn't see that. I never told you this. Okay, fuck. I've never told this to anyone because I hate remembering it, but... When I was little, my best friend was captured by Raffins. It was an accident and she would have ended up a complete goner if Cassidy hadn't come to the rescue. Some real bad things were about to happen, but Cass pulled out his revolver and the dust settled within seconds. The kid's uncle? Who is he anyway? For a reward, he's a little like Cassidy. I suppose minus the whole cowboy thing. Self-possessed, -poss unshakable, and a man of principle. Maybe I don't know him all that well, but there's one thing I know for sure. I can come to him with anything and he'll take it seriously. I don't know any officers, but I haven't exactly heard good things about the police in Night City. Good to know there are exceptions. You always seem to draw the good folks to your side, V. That's a rare thing. Damn. Okay, Pam. Alright. Let me go talk to Rogue. Oh. Try again. Maybe you'll find some charm third time around. Rogue? Hey, Rogue. Ready? We going? Where's Johnny? Couldn't make it after all? You look... Wow. That Johnny's one or yours? Ooh. When's he gonna show? Damn. I'm just your driver. See you keep him on a short leash. <laughs> Wise beyond your years. Okay, this Rogue. Johnny's Porsche? <laughs> and she got the shoes to match. Where'd you oh, get shit. it? That's what was in the container. 
The one Grayson was talking about. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Got a lot of memories in this car. Hmm. Let's go. Silver Pixel Cloud, your favorite place? Once, probably. Haven't been there in ages. Drive-ins went out of style a century ago. But Silver Pixel's still hanging in there. Oh my god, a drive-in like movie theater? For a day. That's so cute! So too. Which is why I suggested Johnny take me there. A million years ago. So it wasn't his idea? Of course not. His idea of a romantic night out was blowing up our Osaka HQ. Yeah, that's... That's annoying. He's such a radical sometimes. I don't know. But I get, definitely gotta check out this right, drive-in movie theater. Tell me what's going on. For real. What do you mean? You mean in... Johnny doesn't do a thing without an ulterior motive. So what's in play this time? What? Johnny's changed. He really does want to spend some time with you. No hooks, no lines, no sinkers. Right. She doesn't even believe me. But then again, I can't blame her either. Johnny... Oh, shit, I fucked up the car. Johnny has always been so unpredictable, so it's kind of nope. hard to... Just taking it all in. <laughs> a selfless Johnny Silverhand. Apparently, you're a positive influence on him. Is... Is that a good thing? I'm surprised myself. Then again, we have been opening up to each other a lot more and he has been very caring yeah he's a jackass and all but he's not really a bad guy I'm kind of nervous what is going to happen on this date um let me just pause right here oh lord you see, it's a good thing I stopped. That car would have hit me. This is... This is a journey and a half to this driving movie theater. I hope it's really worth it. So... Like I said, I'm a little bit nervous on this date because number one, it's rogue. I don't want to do anything stupid. But then again, once I let Johnny take over my body, what type of stupidness is he going to do? So that's another thing I'm concerned about. Oh my god. Alright, I guess we're here. Here we are. Okay. This is cute. Fuck. I don't believe it. It really has been years. Managed to shut the whole thing down. V, try to get inside. Can't stop us, won't stop us. We asked you out on a date. All right, do your thing. I'll watch. Can't stop us, won't stop us. We asked you out on a date. Okay, All right. damn. Do your thing. I'll watch. Oh, money? Hell yeah! Okay, let me see what's in here. Can I open the door? The hell? Okay. Gotta be the past, this. Guess we really are going to the movies. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, maybe I can find something here? Yeah? Nothing? Huh. Net? No. I'll use that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh, the code's right there. Ew. Okay. So, zero, 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 zero. Um, zero, 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 zero. Wham, right, bam, shalala. Well done. Wow, I'm surprised. Try and get the projector started. I'll get us some seats. I'm surprised the sure screen is still intact. Right, let's go check the projector. 
Johnny, my boy, I know you're excited. And it's up there, so let me just... Entrance is over here. Okay. Nice. I hope this still works, because... Okay, looks like I found the projector. You wouldn't happen to know how to get it up and running. About to see. Look at that. Last played Bushido 10. Perfect. Looks like a spurt of runny shit. V, we're at a drive-in. Movie's the last thing we care about. Just want some background noise, a little blood, tits, and gore, that sort of thing. Bushido will give you that. All right, V, run along. I'll take it from here. Have fun, you crazy kids. Ooh, I'm trusting you on this, Johnny. Grabbed us the best spots. Hop on up. <laughs> hey, we're watching a movie! Hey, yo, this is dope as hell. I love it. The hell it ended? God, Rogue looks. She looks like a snack, low key. I could see why Johnny would be into her. This is how you imagine this evening going? Always knew things would have to change for us to just go out and catch a movie. Never imagined they'd change this much. Hmm. Let's pretend it's 2015, huh? We just met, and I got no idea what a bastard you are. <clears throat> but I like 2077, Rogue. A far inferior version. Okay, so it's 2015. If you could do it all again, what would you change? Anything at all? I do everything in my power not to lose you. Johnny, I... Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Nothing, it's just... Had a lot of time to think while you were away. What ifs and all that. Sure, that's it. Nothing about Grayson or Smasher. What? What's Smasher got to do with anything? Getting the sense you still got a thorn in your side there. Cause I do. I'm irate, disappointed, but rather not think about it now. Okay, my bad. Think you might be hiding something from me. Johnny, there's a heap of things I'm hiding from you. Like what? But all we got's this one night. It's more than I ever could have asked for. Rogue, I'm here on borrowed time in a borrowed body. But I'm here. Oh shit. Aww. Wait, what? Okay, Shuri took her top off. I see that. Oh, shit. Okay. I gotta admit, she is beautiful, though. Tried so hard to pretend nothing's changed. 
to pretend I'm the same rogue you knew. Actually managed to fool myself for a little. Get back on my own. Wow. Fuck. Damn. What the hell happened? Huh. Hey. Rogue's gone. Yep. Guess things did not go swimmingly. Nope. Was gonna be a nice night at the drive-in. Now she's mad and won't tell me what about. Any guesses? Remember Grayson? How they spoke? How weird it was? Mm -hmm. Weird's not the word, I don't think. He was toying with her. Could be something to that. Got a mullet over. For now, take me to North Oak. That's supposed to help you figure out Rogue? No. Carrie. Tell you once we're there. Movie was a turd wrapped in crepe paper. Oh, that sucks. All right. And Rogue completely rejected him too, so something is up. I love how all of my controls have suddenly disappeared off of my screen. I had to like take a couple guesses to see which control helped me to get my car. And it's pretty annoying. The amount of glitches I'm still finding after the second patch is truly, truly unbelievable and annoying. Like CD Projekt Red, at this point, you might as well just stop with the updates because, frankly, it's still not doing shit to the game. And this game would be forever your sore spot on your portfolio of works. Like, come on! Is it too much to ask for a game that actually does work? Like, what the hell? Seriously, what the hell? Like, I get it, you wanted to release it so everyone can enjoy it, but at the same time, what's the point if it's not gonna work properly? Alright, North Oak Sign. Let's go. I'm right here. This ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carrie got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where'd you hear anything about Carrie? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your boy's night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. Hmm. So, I gotta hit Carrie's digs, look around, critique the drapes. Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed, attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Damn, Maybe Johnny. Wanna go in person. Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. What was that about attempted suicide? Amateur hour. Didn't even cobble together the right audience. Tried to put a bullet through his skull in his room. Bodyguard took his gun like candy from a baby. Could just be the rumor mill. Sure, could. But I want to know. Mm-hmm. First rogue, now Carrie. Who's next on the list of conjugal visits? Nobody. Just so happens the list of people I consider friends and who are still alive is pretty damn short. Exactly why I need to talk to Carrie. Okay. But I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Yeah, that's true. Personal shit right now. 
May not be the best time to mess with his head. V Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first. We gotta get into that house. Okay. Just let me know when you want to take the wheel. I mean, he does have a point. He did behave when we were on the date with Rogue, so... I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. And number two... This is the second time he asked, so... He doesn't have a lot of people left. So I'm surprised that Carrie is still alive, just like how I'm surprised that Rogue is still around. Damn, I have to climb up this massive ass hill. If it were me, I would have been struggling by now because this is too much. A couple MGs left. I feel like I'm in a desert type of Hollywood. Oh, okay. Huh. Nice. Real nice. How am I supposed to get in? Is there a code to this? Gary Paradigm residence. Please wait while I connect. <sighs> what? You'll never guess who. Huh? Can't hear you. Come back later, maybe? Nah, come on. We're lucky the dog's even home. Alright, so what do I do? Enter Carrie's property? Like, bro. Alright, let me see here. Can I jump? I can't jump? How am I supposed to get in, damn it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There you go. Hey, I got in! Into the swimming pool. What the hell? Now I'm all wet. Ooh. I'm not gonna, you know, get into that. Let me just quickly run. And is that the door? That's a big ass door. Wow, it's a mess. Fugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive at least. Something's gotta justify this level of tacky. Wow, this this is really something, alright. <laughs> Fuck. Cookie cutter crap straight from a catalog. Doubt Carrie picked this. Always ate out. Always. Let me see if he's upstairs. Huh, this is a big place. Huge at that. Bet he sits here and thinks, the fuck I need all this shit for. Man, it's so messy. Then again, that's what depression does to you. Okay, that's on that's locked. Probably the only actual necessity in this whole pad. Hmm. Probably. I'll give him that one. Yeah, the car is nice. Ah, oh, beautiful butterfly carry emerging from his silky samurai chrysalis. I assume the room that is locked is the one that he's in, so... Wow, all these guitars. Wicked bad collection. Well, now I am impressed. Played a few of these myself back in our samurai days. A 
attacks like that run us many eddies? Forget it. We couldn't afford it. That's Carrie's fave. Hmm. The fact that he still remembers amazes me, honestly. Alright, let me see how am I supposed to get into that room. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.